Hi, Ash. How are you doing today? I am good today. How are you? Yeah, also not too bad. Um, so, I mean, it's been a while since uh, you received your offer from McKinsey and Company in, in Sydney, Australia. That's right. Um, but nevertheless, uh, let me say congratulations once more. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, and uh, thank you so much for all the help and support. So yes. Uh, yeah. Let's 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 dive uh, right into it. Right. Speaking about yeah. uh, your whole preparation journey. Right. Mm -hmm. So, um, if you think back, um, how did you start at the time? What were the challenges uh, that emerged yeah. for you? Um, and what was then the most important reason for you uh, to to yeah, reach out to us to get professional help to get coaching mm -hmm. from us? Uh, could you elaborate yeah. a little bit? Yeah, yeah, sure. So I'll start uh, from the beginning. Um, mm -hmm. So I started uh, while I was doing my MBA. So I heard about MBBs and I started there. But I didn't, and I, I did uh, my own preparation for maybe three years, um, maybe two two years while doing MBA. And I was also working, I, I, I got into a uh, second tier uh, mm -hmm. consulting firm, another um, top, maybe top tier consulting firm after my MBA. Yeah. So did that, uh, but um, then I wanted to get into MPB. MPB one one of MPBs. MPB was uh, was my dream. Yeah. Uh, kept trying, and I thought I would I I would be able to make it because first thing I've been uh, there two couple of reasons. Um, first thing I thought I'd been doing this for a long time the cases, mm -hmm. and I was pretty I I thought I was pretty good in that. And second mm -hmm. thing I all already have experience in a consulting firm mm -hmm. so i thought it would be easy to crack it right yes, yes. but they were I, I never <laughs> <cracked> it. <laughs> you stood corrected <laughs> yeah yeah um so i yeah i i, I start I, I realized that there is uh, something uh, wrong or there is uh, there is some mistake that i'm doing so i wanted to correct that tried uh, that kind of research, went into that research mode, uh, went into prep launch. Mm -hmm. And so the like read the reviews of uh, a lot of coaches mm -hmm. and you guys were, you, you guys were kind of different. I felt like you guys were different. You were not talking about framework. You're not talking about like uh, uh, maybe seven or eight types of cases that you mm. have. Uh, it's a completely different thing. They're talking about a thought process. So thought, maybe I'll, I'll try it. Yeah, yeah. And I tried that. Um, and uh, I, I, I really, I, I could see that difference. I, there is a huge difference Yeah. Uh, in the way that I used to think, uh, between the way that I, I used to think before the coaching and mm -hmm. after the coaching. It's like yes. Yes. a completely yes. life-changing process. Exactly. Even if you don't, get into an MVP. Yes, yes, exactly. Yeah. So let's 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 maybe dive a little bit deeper there, right? Uh, yeah. uh, how we actually, uh, how this preparation worked, right? And uh, you already touched on this, right? Because yeah. contrary to this, you know, I would call it the mainstream case books and the mainstream case resources that you can usually find. Um, yeah. What we have established um, is a very, very robust methodical grounding on which you can yeah. then build a much stronger and more uh, rigorous uh, problem solving muscle. So yeah. if you now uh, reflect back, right uh, especially uh, then against the backdrop of your actual interviews then um, yeah. how how has this more mature approach to problem solving and uh, to cases and the independence from the typical frameworks helped you to be successful in your McKinsey interviews yeah so that thought process that you get from uh, the coaching mm -hmm. there, there are a few things that you get from coaching so first one is the thought process Second one is that, um, yeah, you have a strong thought process uh, that gives you the clarity. And the second thing is the communication. You you need to have that kind of a communication um, to get it to uh, an MVP. Yeah. And I think the practice, the co coaching, as well as the practice that you do with your buddies, um, mm -hmm. so that helps a lot in uh, the thought, the clarity of thinking, as well as uh, the communication uh, part. Yeah. So yeah. in my uh, experience, um, so I could, I don't know how to express that, but w whatever thing that I approach, whatever problem that I put, not, not only the case, uh, mm -hmm. cases that you have in an actual interview, but 
every problem that you have in your personal life, professional mm. life, and now I'm working. So yeah, the kind of approach that you have, it's a completely you 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 think top down. So you start from the very high level of a problem. Mm-hmm. Then you like uh, disaggregate into. I'm using your word disaggregate into uh, yes. different uh, components and subcomponents, and mm-hmm. you kind of then yeah. So you you every, everywhere that you go, you have a drive tree in your head. Yes, 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 um, yes, yes. So exactly. that's right because yes, and and yes. i think or i hope that you can already see this now that you're uh, that yeah, you're yeah. working at in the, the in firm the right market. so yes. starting from what is actually the problem of my client and then yes. given uh, the circumstances right how can we formulate a certain criterion according to which we can give an answer in one direction or the other direction and then what yes. does this mean for the kind of analyses that we will need to run right because yes, exactly. this is uh, this is how uh, um usually the uh, in the more senior positions, right? When you are a partner, or when you are an engagement manager, right? This is how you need to think in order to break down uh, the whole problem into chunks yeah. that you can then allocate to your team, right? Yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> so I can I can see that, and I, I, as I started working, I could clearly see the difference. And I um so, and there is that the, the thought process is really valued in MBBs. Um, mm-hmm. So I have experience in another consulting firm. I have experience in an internal strategy team. Yeah. But that kind of a thought process, I, I can clearly see that it's it's valued here. And it's very easy. It's, once you get uh, yes. it, it's yes. a completely very easy process. Yes. So, it's not rocket science what we're doing here. It's not right? rocket science. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and you know so, what you're talking about when yeah, we talk about exactly. rocket science. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Very so, good. <laughs> yeah, it's a it's a life changing uh, uh, technology. I would say it's a, li- a, li- a life changing thought process that you get from here. So yes, you're con- it makes you confident in solving problems in mm-hmm. any problem. Like you don't need a background. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. In, in a topic, yeah. Cool. So now uh, let's talk maybe a little bit about your actual interviews at McKinsey, right? Yeah. So uh, because many people are, you know, dreading their MBB interviews and they think, oh yeah. my God, this is this is going to be so hard, and and uh, yeah. the interviewers are going to throw impossible questions at me, etc. Right? Yeah. So how was it? How did it generally feel? How how did it? Uh, how did the whole process go for you? How were the yeah. interviewers? Right? Uh, was it really hard, or was it maybe more conversational than you thought? Okay. Yeah, so I'll, I'll talk about two situations. So that would uh, give us like a reference. So the first um, situation is the, uh, this this time's interview. So I've been interviewed maybe twice or thrice uh, with McKinsey. Mm-hmm. Um, so this time I felt like I was so confident. It felt like a conversation. So easy mm-hmm. conversation, so friendly. But maybe in the last uh, last time it was not like that. <laughs> so, <laughs> I was, so I was ready it. To be yeah. honest, but this time it was a conversation. It was so easy. I felt like I could do it. It yeah. was kind of a cakewalk for me uh, this time. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So any question uh, that you throw, uh, you, you you yeah, they, they throw any question, and it it feels like you have the answer, and you know that okay, this uh, even if I don't know the answer, whatever that I propose. Mm-hmm. Is it is it, it's kind of a it's it's a solid answer that I'm proposing. Um, yes. it, it's not answer, but the solid way of solving that particular exactly. problem that I am proposing. So exactly, you, so you can show your way of thinking, right? You can show yeah. how what what are the angles through which you look at the problem, because this is at yeah. the end of the day what the interviewer wants to see, right? It's not even so much the answer; it is whether yeah. he can see through how you respond. Uh, he can see how you are thinking, how you're solving yeah. problems, right? Yeah. Great, yeah. great, yeah. cool. Uh, thank you so much for uh, uh, for for sharing uh, your experience with us. So mm-hmm. now, before we close, um, do you have any, let's say, major hints or, or tips uh, that you would give to those folks who are just starting on their preparation journey with, uh, well, the big strategy firms? Anything uh, yeah. that you would recommend? Um, so first thing. Yeah, definitely trust the process. Um, so in the especially in the beginning, you you may feel a bit uh, like uncomfortable with with the coaching that you get from um, Sydney mm-hmm. and uh, John. Um, but trust the process. It takes some time. Then it, yeah. it, it's like a magic bullet or silver bullet that you're gonna get, uh, and it's it's gonna change your life. Uh, 
it, it might not be the MBB, even if it's the if it's not the MBBs, but uh, worst case, it, it might not be the MBB, but uh, it's it's kind of a rigorous thought process that you are going to get uh, and the clarity of thinking that you get after that coaching, once you practice that coaching, that's, that helps in your like whole career and your personal life. Amazing. So thank you so much. Um, congratulations once more and uh, enjoy the ride with McGinsey. Yeah. yeah. Thank you so much, Siri.